Hi class, in this video I'm going to show you how to input uh, functions into your regular Casio calculator. This method will work if you have the newer version as well. Um, just to be aware, the main uh, colours I suppose are going to be different, but we're looking here at alpha and the x above the bracket uh, button here. So we're going to turn our calculators on. And our calculators are going to be in the regular calculator mode that you'll be using most of the time. So we need to change the mode of our calculator, press mode, and then we want table. So I'm going to press the number three here. You'll see f of x equals pops up. So that's going to be my function that I'm about to input. So the first function that I'm going to input here is this one here. So this is going to be three. And the x that I'm going to use is alpha bracket and you'll see that pop up then uh, it's x cubed so i'm going to press this button here take away two make sure you're using the subtraction button here i want to input another x and then square it i'm going to add another x and then take away four so once your function is inputted you're then going to press equals you can see over here, my x begins at minus 0 0.5. So I'm going to use the minus button, 0 0.5, and then I'm going to press equals. Generally, if you just change your calculator into this mode, the step that the start point will be 1. So you're just going to change that to whatever it is in your question. My end point here is the number 2. So I'm going to press 2, and then equals. My steps... Um, in an exam question, your step will be outlined for you. So usually you'll be given a table and it will be clear from that what step you're going up in. It might be 0 0.5, it might be 1.5, it might just be 1. So 1 is what appears on the screen here. I'm going to change that to 0 0.5. I'm then going to press equals. Then your function table appears on your calculator. So just to make sure you know how to read this, your first point of input is minus 0 0.5. Right beside that, then you have your output of your function. Okay, so when you press the down arrow here, you're reading each of your inputs on the left hand side, up underneath where it says x. And then when you go across, there are your output values. So you'll see here as you scroll down, there are your output values. So when you have to graph this function, this is going to be your x value and this is going to be your y value and that is the same throughout the table so that was one where the step was 0 0.5 i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do one where the step is one and this is a slightly smaller function this is a function of a cubic equation so it will have two turning points uh, this one is a quadratic so it will just be one turning point so i'm just going to press on it'll clear everything we're still in our table mode, so f of x equals still appears on the screen. And I'm going to press alpha and x to get my x value up. I'm using the buttons here, x squared and x cubed, but if you can't find them on your calculator, you can use this one. So I'm going to press x squared. Just remember to use your arrow to bring your cursor across so that it's not no longer in the squared position plus 3x, so plus 3 alpha bracket, and then take away 4. So this function is now input, so I'm just going to press the equals. Now, because I've just done a function, it, ha it remembers that my start value is minus 0 0.5. But in this one, you'll see that it's minus 2. So without pressing anything else, I'm just going to put in my negative uh, number button. So minus 2 equals and it's going to end at 2 which is the same as the previous one which is a coincidence so whatever it is I'm just going to input 2 equals the step again we're just going to change to 1 and equals so in this case you'll see your function appears here uh, your function inputs here in the left hand side and your outputs here in the right hand side so we have minus 2 input minus 6 output when you're graphing this, your x values are here and your y values are here. To clear everything off your screen again, we're going to press the on button. 
and to make sure that you can revert back to your calculator mode for the remainder of your exam, press mode and we want to go to one and we're back to using our calculator as normal. I hope this helps.